Number 17. Triangle XYZ is isosceles. Prove this within the triangle. Now, I gave them these names, which weren't really needed at all because all you need are these three parts. If they're going to give them names, why not use the convention? Made, made that the way. It's not referring to X, Y, Z at all. Hey, I'll just get rid of these things. Completely unnecessary in this case. Right, so that's the case. Well, that looks like the use of the sine rule. Because I've got X is opposite the 2 alpha. I need to know what's the Y opposite. Well, if it's an isosceles triangle, then I'm going to have the angle down here. It's going to be 180 minus the angle you've got and then halved. So that angle is going to be 90 minus alpha. So I could write out my sine rule here then. X over the sine of its opposite angle, 2 alpha, should be Y over the sine of its opposite angle, which is 90 minus alpha. Then I can expand that. Now, this is another one of these identities that you are meant to know. I don't seem to mention an awful lot, but you should know this in any way because that's the complement. And you should know that the sine and the cosine I've got the same values of their respective complements. The sine of 10 is the same as the sine of 80. Sine of 30 is the same across the 60. Sine of 45 is the same as sine of 45. But I could demonstrate it down here just in case this is required for the question. So I'll put a bit of work on the side. So I'll just put the work in here instead of having to copy this out all the time just with that one little fragment changing. Sine of 90 minus alpha means I've got the sine of 90, the cos of alpha, minus the cos of 90 times the sine of alpha. Now the sine of 90 is 1, the cos of 90 is 0, so I'm just left with the cos of alpha minus nothing. So that's just going to be cos alpha. So I can change this expression then. x over the sine of 2 alpha should be y over, and that's the cos. If it's the complement, it'll be the cosine, it's the cosine of the complement. Which means that x is going to be, take that across and multiply, y sine 2 alpha over cos alpha. Now in part b I'm required to show this. I'll just put that in a bracket because I'm not starting from that. Maybe I should have been doing that earlier. I'm starting from this. So I've got x is y sine 2 alpha over cos alpha. It's really just a case of saying, well, what's different in the thing I'm trying to change it into? Well, instead of double angles, I've got single angles. So an obvious thing to do then would be expand that. So that sine 2 alpha expands into 2 sine alpha cos alpha all over cos alpha. And then, of course, the cosine will cancel out with the cosine, just leaving you 2 sine times y or 2y sine. And there it's done.